So, we have here the Glycerin 15 and the Glycerin 60, which is brand new to the market for autumn winter this year. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about the 16, but I will reference a lot the 15 so you know the kind of step ups and the differences between the two shoes. So, let me pop the 15 down and we'll get started on the 16. So first things first, I always start with the upper. So it's had a bit of an upper revamp. So on the 15, we had kind of a 3D print over the top, which you can see here, um, which was kind of locked down through the foot, give it that nice kind of snug feel. On the 16, we've got rid of the 3D um, printing and we've gone for instead a two layer um, fit. So it's a snug kind of sock like fit. The tongue is slightly sewn in. So you get that locked down through the midfoot from the simple overlays of the material rather than extra additions, which obviously adds slightly little bits more weight. Still got the 3D print just around the uh, midfoot, again, just to give that customised fit. Otherwise, very, very good in terms of fit and around that area. Through the back of the heel, no change in depth of heel cup or heel counter um, and still holds really nice and stable through the back there. So upper wise small changes but nothing too drastic um in terms of toe box shape as well just because those overlays aren't there it doesn't nip in as much so slight positive from that perspective dropping into the midsole this is where things differ quite a bit so the old kind of the glycerin had a just dna um, midsole which brooks has always used and their dna is linked to kind of being different with every step so really um customizes to your step and your stride the glycerin 16 has dna loft now what dna loft is is a lighter weight lighter component um as such of cushioning like dna but it's lighter so it just makes the shoe not feel as heavy um it still customizes to your foot strike like normal dna it just makes the shoe lighter key thing um still nice comfort all the way through the midsole still that slight tendency to feel that kind of rocking forward onto the forefoot but overall yeah the midsole update is great it, it keeps the lightness of the glycerin down it's always been known as a little bit heavy so that that's definitely a massive bonus here flipping onto the outsole no real changes whatsoever um very similar to the 15 um no change whatsoever through there Slight removal though, just a little bit on the outsole, but again, just to reduce weight. So between the two, the 16 and the 15, I would say the 16 feels a lot plusher um, than the 15. The 15 is still quite plush, but a little bit heavy and you can noticeably feel that. Um, but we'll still do the same things. You can still run the same distances. You can still hit your marathons. The shoe is still comparable to your Nimbus, your Vomero, um, those kind of shoes from Nike and what have you. So yeah price point is 135 still so no change there and drop height is still 10 mil so there are positive updates on this glycerin for me i think the overlays will change it massively it will make it not feel as tapered and tight and yes the lightness is obviously a massive plus so yeah the glycerin 16 pretty decent upgrade <laughs>